Luna Page. This is my last music tip of the week for the Cape Town Music Academy. And today I'd just like to lightly touch on the idea of entrepreneurship and diversification. Um, and the reality of the matter is that one has to take into consideration where you are living and how big your market is. And also understand that it's only a handful of people worldwide who actually succeed in doing what they do and doing that alone. Um, it is a global trend that due to the whole change of the music economy that most musicians have to diversify and do more than one type of thing in their career. Now I've been 2018 I did a couple of interviews with musicians in South Africa who I believe really um, understood the idea of diversification and really succeeded in that. And one of them was Bainant from Fuku Felicica. And we had a nice conversation where he said, you know, that it would have been lovely to just make music, but realistically that doesn't make sense. And he used the example that their band understood that with the type of genre of music that they made, that they could only reach X amount of people and that it was very important for them to sort of use their success within that um, niche market as a launching pad to create other businesses and avenues for them to generate income. Um, a, a second example would be someone like Nathaniel, who, who said himself that he developed numerous channels to, to um, express himself in a creative manner by writing stories, by singing, by writing songs, by getting on stage as a storyteller slash singer-songwriter and also by cooking. And a nice thing that he said to me was that he, um, nothing that he did was forced. Everything was extensions of himself, of interests that he had, things that he was really passionate about. And he really accentuated the fact that even now people are looking for instant gratification, instant fame, they want to become successful overnight. And he said this doesn't happen, it really asks for years and years and years and years of really hard work pulling out your hair. And then he also made a valid point, if after 30 or 40 years still nothing has happened, maybe you should get your cue and you should be doing something else. So what I basically want to say is that in order for us to be successful people and successful entrepreneurs who can actually afford a medical aid, afford to purchase a house, afford to drive a reliable car, um, afford to not um, be very, very poor when we are pensioners, is we have to let go of the idea, first and foremost, of being suffering artists or suffering for our art. Secondly, we should let go of the idea that we are one thing and one thing alone and understand that we have multiple interests and multiple talents that we can tie to our musical life and we can flourish in. So my challenge to you is if you are someone that is worried about this, go and jot down what are the things that you are really interested in. What are the skills that you have learned over the last 10 or 15 years whilst doing what you do? And how can you implement those skills and create income out of it? And don't get set in this idea that you are a musician and that's all that you are. Because if that's all that you are, you must also prepare yourself for the fact that you might end up being very poor one day. <laughs> it's grim, but it's true. Go and look and see what's happening across the world. Go and read articles about diversification and you will see that it's a global trend. It's not just a South African thing. It's important to know how big you can grow by doing only music. Thank you.